Yo, what's up everybody? Uh, this is actually part two. If you have not seen the first one, go ahead and click the link here. That will take you backwards to the first one and then you can join us back. If not, here we go. Okay, so anyways, I was uh, in the last part, I was just talking about the, the team comp that we have here. Basically, our team comp relies on keeping Ash alive and doing lots of poke damage. So since we can sit there in a lane and just keep healing ourselves up. What we really need to do is just kind of let the Ash shoot her volley as much as possible. Uh, you know, do any kind of little small harassments that we can, but never really fully engage uh, their team at full health because they've got that comp with the uh, with the Morgana who can do her ult, burst us down. They've got the the prey and spray twitch is what he's relying on, and that's kind of how that's going. Right now we're tower diving. I'm going to try and take out this turret. I've got my ult on, and <laughs> everyone else is attacking the heroes and tower diving. It's not. You, we could have just killed that tower faster. But anyways, there we go. So I got the tower. Um, ah, shit. So Zealand put his ult on the Warwick again, so he's going to get away. He keeps getting away with such low health, and then Twitch pops out. Uh, gets away with a little bit of flash, jumps back, does a little more damage. Uh, you, you're going to see that on good Twitches. What they'll do is they'll pop out, do their damage. If you get if you get to where you'll start focusing them, what they do is they flash backwards, and they just keep on attacking. Gosh, look at that freaking Warwick. My god. He just came up, queued, and he was so low, but just did not die again. Oh, man. This... Oh. I, I was so frustrated this game with that Warwick getting away like pretty much every freaking time. Uh, I started to be right there. I was like, eh, that's probably not the best place to be. So I'm going to move back a little bit. I don't know what Sun is doing. She's like, oh, I got this tower on my own. But no, I don't think so. Okay, let's see. What can I afford to buy? Oh, just barely got enough for my Merc Tread. So I'm going to go ahead and pick those up. Uh, the last time I died, I held down. This is a good trick for you guys, by the way. Uh, when you die, look at the death recap and see where the major sources of damage are coming from. And if you're taking mostly magic damage when you die, uh, then go ahead and start building magic resist. If you're taking more physical damage, then you'll know to build mostly um, armor items. Um, and obviously you can look at the team comps, but sometimes you may be surprised that you're actually taking more magic damage than you are physical when you die, uh, just based on who's focusing you and what type of abilities that heroes are using against you as well. So that's just a quick tip for you. Uh, all right, we went ahead and grabbed the red for our Ash. We need her to be doing as much damage as possible. We yeah, really got to ward this uh, Baron. I have a ward on me, so I'm going to go ahead and pop that sucker down. Uh, they have a CV, so they know that we're not doing Baron as well. Uh, they also knew that I awarded it because uh, <laughs> obviously they saw me. Oh, sweet! Did you see yeah. that? Look at that! I just killed the entire creep wave with my shatter. Oh, and we're gonna go ahead and engage this Warwick, but their whole team is already there. Oh, what a whiffed ult! Did you see that Sona ult? She just ulted the basically just the Warwick, and he had the uh, Morgana shield, so that was useless. Uh, okay, here comes the Warwick coming in, chasing down, killing our team. Killed Elements. Um, we're pretty split up right now. I'm going to go ahead and run in. I'll try to save the Ash, but she got taken out with a Twitch. And, and man, this, everyone just split up. I'm pretty low health right now. I don't have any mana, and that screwed me up. Should not have chased that Warwick, but I think Elements was yelling in my ear. He was like, get the damn Warwick! And I was like, okay. This is and uh, it was dumb. I should not have done that. I just ran at it, didn't have enough mana to finish him off. Um... Shit. See, look at that Warwick, man. He's always living with no HP. That's like the second or third time that's happened. Uh, went ahead and he just about aced our team except for our Ramus who was able to roll out and <laughs> get out of there. He's probably the smart one for not splitting up. So anyways, uh, I really wish that Ash did not run down there and split up like that because uh, it forced me to chase him to try and support him a little bit. I mean, what the hell? What, what good am I if I'm not chasing around our carry and trying to heal? But in any case, um, yeah, I'd say if Ash should have stayed back... Um, a little bit farther in the back rather than running in like that. But nonetheless, uh, another bad fight. And what is the score right at right now? I think that we're actually pretty, f eh, I don't know, a little bit behind. We've lost, I think, two dragons That's so cool. far, and then they're uh, they're about, yeah, three kills ahead of us. So uh, not not really like a huge, huge advantage on them, but uh, definitely the dragon's not helping out, and the fact that they, uh, the fact that, uh, let's see, we've got two towers, they've got three. Okay, cool. so anyways, we're still not out of the game yet. Uh, as long as we don't play any more stupid mistakes like that. Um, right now we should probably just kind of, like I said, do the whole team comp poke thing instead of trying to just jump in and go crazy. That, uh, that initiate on Warwick was fine, but we should not have fully committed to that because of the fact that their whole team was there. It would have been nice to just hit him, maybe poke him a little bit, and then step back just a bit because obviously we lost that fight. All right, we're going to go ahead and push this top tower. We see that, uh, and I don't know what the Sona is doing. She's like completely just stopped following us, and she does us a lot this game. She'll just run out, and then she gets attacked by the tower. So she kind of 
She's kind of a derp in this game. But uh, whatever. We killed the turret. Cool story. Uh, I'm going to kind of taunt him, run back. I do get caught by the, by the uh, slow. Uh, freaking A. There goes that Warwick getting ulted by Zillion once again. Getting away. Uh, we're going to kill the Twitch. Sweet. Oh, but Morgana ult. It gets like all of us. Oh, takes out Ash. Not good. There's our damage. And we go ahead and get Morgana. Time to finish up this Warwick. But man, he's got so, so much life still. And uh, he just takes us all out. And I don't. Uh, there's nothing we can do. Yeah, this Ramus, there's no way he could have gotten away. He should have just kept on fighting. Um, but, <laughs> nah, not happening. Whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and try and finish building up my. Um, I'm just going to build some armor, see if I can defend myself from Twitch and Warwick a little bit better. And I think at this point, actually, Elmets was like, oh, shoot, I think Remus just finished his okay. Frozen Heart. And I was like, ah, oh, shit, I'll just turn it into a uh, into a Thorn. I think, what do I turn it into? Like a, oh, a Randuin's, yeah. So that's actually good. Uh, frozen Heart plus Randuin's definitely will shut down a Warwick and a Twitch. So that's going to be really tough for them late game if we can survive that long, which I think we should be able to as long yeah, as we play intelligently. <laughs> Need to watch that Baron. They, if they're smart, they probably are getting it right now. I think the Warwick can probably solo it, actually. Oh, um, we don't have a ward there, so I'm kind of worried right now. I don't even know what they're doing. I cannot remember what's going on. But uh, I don't know. If I was Warwick, I probably would have went for it. Just saying... No, nope, no, nope, he didn't get it. So we warded it. It's fine. Not a big deal. Um, ooh, a lot more creeps. That's a, that's a cool thing I like about Tarek, man. You just run in there, you do your shatter, and bloop, got you some creep farm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So at this point, everyone's going to be trying to buy before everyone uh, on their team gets to our tower. That way we can uh, defend it as strong as possible. And... So it looks forward. like their Warwick has a pink ward. He took just took ours out. Our someone's got an Oracles, I think. Uh, who's got an Oracles? I don't know. Somehow we saw that ward though, so we took it out. <coughs> okay, yeah, Remus has got the Oracle, so we're gonna be ward hunting here pretty shortly. Uh, double buff on the Warwick. He's been pretty strong. He is really just just destroying us this game because that <laughs> Zillion. He'll he'll just run in and he'll uh, burst us down with everything that he's got. And since he's you know a pretty easy target for us, we'll go ahead and start taking him out. But then Zillion ults him, and uh, so so it's really worked out for them so far. And that damn Warwick, you know, he just gets away with so little health. It pisses me off. <laughs> um, I don't know what we're doing right here. There's no tower to push. The whole team's missing, and I just have a bad yeah. There it is. Look oh here they come. Now right now I'm saying to Elmas, I'm like, man, we need to follow our creeps so that our creeps help us in this fight. But uh, that doesn't happen right here. Right now we need Ash to start auto attacking. There she goes. She's attacking. Uh, Remus is a little bit pushed up in there. This uh, these zillion bombs are really hurting us right now. We're still not late. A late enough game to have enough magic resist against this. Oh god. Okay, so there goes the zillion ult. Just save the damn Warwick again. <laughs> oh man, this is a bad fight. Okay, I will say I pretty much messed up really bad this fight. Um, if anyone is being observant enough, you'll notice I did not pop my ultimate, and that was really retarded of me. Uh, again, I'm a new zillion. I have not played zillion much. But anyways, uh, I should have had my old there. That would have given us a lot more damage for that, and we might have been able to actually finish him off. Uh, the other thing I messed up on was I uh, I just went up and started trying to auto attack the Warwick down. Should not have done that. Should have just stayed back. Uh, maybe went and auto attacked the zillion instead. That way I could have um, tried to heal from long range and then stun him without giving him the ability to cue me and kill me so quickly. Um, in any case. A couple of mistakes there. We should not have started that fight. We shouldn't have been there in the first place. We should have followed the creep. Um, sorry, we shouldn't have been there in the first place. And then uh, we should have followed the creeps so the creeps were attacking them as well. But anyways, nonetheless, they get the free Baron. Nothing that we could have done to stop that. So pretty, uh, looking pretty grim right now. 14 to 21. They just grabbed Baron. We're down a couple of dragons. Um... The good news is that the Ramus now has his frozen heart. I've got a, I've got a warden's mail. So if they start attacking me, that'll slow their uh, attack speed down a little bit. I think that uh, if we can just get a little bit later game, we should be able to hold this. But it's just going to be very difficult with uh, with how far we are behind. Um, if we can get Ash, uh, her farm up. I know she's been CSing very well this game. I, I can't remember. I don't. I don't know the last time I pushed Tab, but I do know that she's got pretty good CS going. I remember looking at the uh, the in-game screen. Um, and yeah, yeah, there you go. We we gave up. Uh, that was really retarded. We we gave up 
Baron just to get blue buff. So really should not have done that. Probably needed to have uh, stayed over in that direction. But um, I don't know, just a bad call on our part. I, our head wasn't in the right place apparently. So we're going to go ahead and pick up the red buff for Ash. She's got a double buff at this point. So if she can stay alive, she'll at least have that um, to our advantage. And we'll just keep doing, like I said, the strategy that this team comp is devised for, which is poke, poke, poke. I'm um, trying to figure out what I want to build. I was like, hmm, should I build a... Uh, uh, and I was like, ah, I'll go ahead and go for the Warden's Mail. That way I can slow down the Warwick and Twitch. Twitch goes and he ults on the other side, so I'm, I went ahead and stunned him so that his ult was down. So he did waste his ult. There's nothing useful there. At this point, we're in a pretty good position to defend the tower. Since that uh, that ult's down, the only thing left is the um, Opal. the Morgana Opal. ult, which I'm not too worried about to be honest. <coughs> uh, the Twitch is not very good. I'll I'll just go go ahead right out there and say it. Um, what he needs to do is uh, wait for his mm -hmm. team to engage on us, and once we're committed to the fight, then he can pop out and start wrecking our team. It's a lot harder to deal with the Twitch uh, mid fight than it is um, if he tries to like initiate before the team even goes into a fight. See, so, because all I had to do was stun him and run away, and then his ult was wasted. <laughs> okay, so Sona just whiffed her ult. She missed everyone, and uh, then, I don't know, we weren't even a fight, and she just used her ult randomly, so we are kind of like, <laughs> see, look at Elements. He's like, why? Why'd you do that? What the fuck? And uh, I was kind of thinking the same thing. So, uh, pretty retarded. But anyways, that's the end of part two. Uh, it's going to get heated up here pretty quick in part three. So, guys, go ahead and click the link right there. That'll take you to the next one. And we'll see how this epic game comes to an end. I'll see you guys in just a second.